Good day everyone. For today, we will be discussing all about digital marketing. This is another topic on your um, subject internet research for business. So digital marketing is also called online marketing. It's the promotion of brands to connect with potential customers using the internet and other forms of digital communication. This includes not only email, social media, and web-based advertising, but also text and multimedia messages as a marketing channel. So, if you imagine or as you can see on the meaning of digital marketing, it is of the same use with e-commerce. Why? Um, they are both using technology and they are both using social media and online platforms on providing products and services and promoting products and services. But the difference between the two is that e-commerce is selling products and services online while digital marketing is promoting products and services that are available physically and are also available on e-commerce stores right so you see the difference you understand already the difference so in the digital marketing we now um, compare how digital marketing um, use by the b2b and the b2c so the b2b and the b2c we've already discussed this in the e-commerce these are types of e-commerce the business to business and business to customers so in first um first is b2b clients tend to have longer decision making process and thus longer sales funnels relationship building strategies works better for these clients whereas b2c customers tend to respond better to short-term offers and messages so as you can see in the meaning or in the powerpoint it means that b2b has um it creates you um longer funnels or sales where compared to b2b na ang ino offer lamang ng digital marketing are short-term offers and short-term messages a very good example of that is in social media wherein a picture is being posted saying that this type of product is available in the store and with this price so yan alang short-term messages but with compared to b2b which is business to business the digital marketing doesn't provide a short term it provides a longer sales funnels which means that in the digital posting you provide all the necessary information of that product so that the businesses will be able to know and to understand how this product works where does this product um located and where can they avail such product all right next is b2b transactions are usually based on logic and evidence which is what skilled b2b digital marketer presents b2c content is more likely to emotionally based focusing on making customer feel good about the purchase so if you can see in the e-commerce when someone or in the b2c system in the e-commerce such as shopee platform it is a b2c business to customer platform of e-commerce is um, when a customer buy or avail of products and services they are to choose those products and services that has function for them or that is useful for them but for the b2b they are choosing products and services that is useful for the business and they can sell it to their target 
market because they are all businesses so you buy products from a business and you as also a business you also sell them to the customers or to another business as well next is the b2b b2b po yan b2b decision tends to need more than person's input the marketing materials that best drive this decision tends to be shareable and downloadable while b2c customers on the other hand favor one-on-one -on -one connection with brand so those are the differences of how digital marketing works between a b2b and a b2c okay now let us proceed to the types of digital marketing number one type of digital marketing is search engine optimization search engine optimization or seo is technically a marketing tool rather than a form of marketing itself an SEO-friendly site ranks high on a search engine results page for relevant search queries, such as an ice cream near me or how to choose a career, without the use of paid ads. In other words, when you optimize your site for SEO, you make it easier for internet searches to find your content products and services. So as you can see in the picture, this is how useful SEO is to a um, business in a digital marketing so this is how digital marketing in seo is useful to businesses may it be it has a physical store or it is an online or e-commerce business because seo is useful especially when you are searching for something on the internet diba um naka ano na naka link na sa mga search engines kung ano ang mga products and services na ino-offer mo. So, easily na lang na masi-search ng mga target customer mo ang mga products and services that you are offering. Okay, class. So, this is how um, SO, SOE works in businesses or in digital marketing. So, when you type ice cream near me, the bar results for Dulogon Maramag Bukidnon because I am located near Dulogon Maramag Bukidnon. So, here, may makikita kang mga ice cream available. So, may mga ice cream sa Shopee. Okay, you can click on that. And there are recommended places kung saan mo maa-avail ang mga craving na ice cream mo. So, you have the location the map location you have here the name of the businesses and then um any um information that you wanted to know about the ice cream near me that you search on the search engine all right so that is how soe works number two content marketing content marketing is a marketing strategy used to attract engage and retain an audience by creating and sharing relevant articles videos podcasts and other media this approach establishes expertise promotes brand awareness and keep your business top of mind when it's time to buy what you sell so this is how a content marketing works in a content marketing works you have your social media blogs ebooks infographics videos case studies website copy newsletters and emails so for example in blogs because of the content media you are to attract and engage and retain audiences by those blogs it may be a blog a blog by a website or a vlog, a video blog. Example of content marketing. So with the use of social media and blog is or blog or vlogs because of this video na nandito sa screen, di ba? A example din siya ng content marketing is that you, as an owner, you create videos promoting your products and services that you are offering to your target market. So such as your videos will contain um, 
the area or the location where are you located, the views, the ba if ganang nakasabukid, the appeal ni mo ang view, and then next is the services you are offering. So may it be you are offering Airbnb. So you let the customers um, watching your video see. What are the Airbnb? What are the types of Airbnb you are offering to your target markets? Are you offering one bed, a house, two beds with um, um, available comfort room and a little kitchen and a little um, sala? Ganun ba? So, you let them know what are the services you are offering. And also, with that video, with that vlog, is you are also providing information on what are the prod uh, the products that you are offering to your target market also so if you are offering airbnb but as well you are also offering um bread and breakfast so that um your customers or your clients will not any longer um cook for their food so you are the one offering to cook for their food and then when you are done um, creating content on a video then you are to post it on social media so that is how content marketing is used in digital marketing and next is um, social media marketing and social media marketing means driving traffic and brand awareness by engaging people in discussion online so when you are using the by when you go back to content marketing you are um, using social media to provide contents and saying that this brand or this products and services is available in this business okay may it be online and physical store and then with the use of social media marketing you are awareing every target market may it be local and international that this type of business is um this type of business is um providing this products and services and and then when you are posting um something on social media with regards to the products and services you are offering you need to have this for four craft highly quality and engaging content so dapat engaging content some are posting pictures some are posting um collage some are posting infographics videos of how so the typically um businesses of today especially coffee shop they are posting how the coffee is being made how the pancake is being made how the cookies is being made so um, those are the um, posts on your social media wherein it can create engagement on your pages next is reply to comments and questions in a professional manner yes so that um, no negative comments and no negative feedbacks will be feed on your um, social media pages and create a social media posting schedule why because um crafting a high quality and engaging content would create an a greater engagement on your pages but also when you create a social media posting schedule which is every day you are posting different types of your products example on day one you post on about how to create a caramel macchiato on day two how to create the french vanilla and then on day three how to create this cookie um, next how to create this cake or then next is a day in a life in a coffee shop so ganun ba you have a schedule on what you are to post every day para in bisaya pa dili masumhan ang imuhang mga customers on what are you posting on your social media and then it will also create greater engagement on your social media accounts next 
post at the right time. So, what is the right time for you on posting? So, it depends on you. It depends on your scheduling. Right? Next is number four. Pay-per-click marketing. The pay-per-click marketing or PPC is a form of digital marketing in which you pay a fee every, once, every time someone clicks on your digital ads so as you can see this is a very good example of the ppc right so diba when you search something on the google nay mo gawas diha ang mga koan um shop kung asa ninyo sila pwede ma palit example nag search ka here um example in here is storage shelving so in our Google in the Philippines, lalabas yung mga um, Shopee, Lazada na mga links kung saan mo mabibili ang mga storage shelving. And next is um, here, um, free business coaching session. So, ganitong mga ano ba? Mga easy to click um, link availing products and services. Number five type of digital marketing is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is a digital marketing tactic that lets someone make money by promoting another person's business. So this is how a affiliate marketing works. Okay, this For TikTok affiliates, you can grab our videos and post it in your accounts. All you need to do is to put a yellow basket with our product link with free sample. Start posting and be our affiliate now. We are this is the diagram. But I'll give you a very good example is in TikTok. But in TikTok, the affiliate, um, when you are an affiliate, you are to promote the products that a seller sends to you. And then when you when a customer clicks on the link na nasa imuhang kanang tiktok video then you will have a commission from that purchase so that is how affiliate marketing so native advertising native advertising is a digital marketing in disguise its goal is to blend in with its surrounding content so that it's less blatantly obvious as advertising so this is how na native advertising works in the digital marketing so my okay subscribe attention click here ads so a very good example of this is when you are using using application so when you are using application um, when you're clicking using application my mag pop up sa application example ads and simple ads and then um, when you are also searching for um, something in the Google, if you are searching something in the Google, my ads na lumalabas sa mga links na kiniklik mo. So those are type of native advertising. Number seven is influencer marketing. Like affiliate marketing, influencer marketing relies on working with an influencer, an individual with a large following such as celebrity, industry expert, or content creator in exchange for exposure. So in affiliate marketing is a media influencer a social media influencer promotes a products and services and provides link on where the customers will will order that products and services in influencer marketing is walang link na binibigay but they are promoting the products and services visually so they will create a video then the video will run in one month or one year and then it depends na dayon if one month lang um, this is the amount that the business will pay to the influencer if one year this is the amount that the um, business will pay to the influencer so and also um a very good example also, we go back to social media marketing, is an influencer will create a video, a video content on your 
business or your product. So, if you feature nila sa katilang mga vlogs ang business mo and mga products and services mo. Number eight, marketing automation. Marketing automation uses software to power digital marketing campaigns, improving the efficiency and relevance of advertising. So, this is how marketing automation works. Okay. So, web tracking, email marketing, lead management, integration, campaign management, and social media marketing. Next is the email marketing. The concept of email marketing is simply you send a promotional message and hope that your prospect clicks on it. So, these are the type of email marketing. So, um, example, si Airbnb sending you a promotional letter to let you know that there is Airbnb and Airbnb is also providing this um, services to you especially if you are a traveler every day and then Amazon also is um, sending emails like this the orders the payment settings manager Kindle digital content so that is how email this email marketing is very useful especially also on credit cards but on credit cards when you avail credit cards or you swipe the card to pay something and then the billing will be sent to your email when the billing is sent to your email a um, attach paper also or attach document also on that email serves as a email marketing which says you can also buy this type of product with the use of the um, with the use of the um, credit card or these are the products that are available and you can pay it with this amount and you or you can swipe it with the use of the credit card with this monthly payment so ganyan that is how email works number 10 mobile marketing mobile marketing is a digital marketing strategy that allows you to engage with your target audience on their mobile devices such as smartphones smartphones and tablets so um balo naman kayo tano on how mobile marketing works so um in social media even in social media um useful kayo si um mobile um in availing products and services online in searching products and services online so in messaging in email so um mobile marketing is really useful nowadays on the digital marketing as well as on the e-commerce businesses so that is our uh, that is the end of our discussion in this video I hope you learn on today's discussion and I hope you have a takeaway on this discussion so that this will be useful on the next topic that we will be talking which is the online consumer behavior. So that would be all for today. Goodbye everyone. Thank you for watching and for listening.